Hello, my name is Chris Honora with Team Conflicts feature. Conflicts officers can leverage conflicts to run deal and team conflicts checks in a single system. With a centralized search, automated alerts, and consolidated audit trails, Team Conflicts fast tracks deal team clearance to determine the eligibility of deal team involvement in new and ongoing transactions. How do we get started? From this dashboard, I will create a new request for Oracle Corporation. And I will create a team clearance workflow. Here we have an entirely new request, a new deal that needs to be populated. And for purposes of this demo, I will call this Project Storm. Now proceed to populate all the details of this request of this deal before triggering the conflict search. And as we take a look at the conflict search results for each of the team members, we want to point out there are four key capabilities that we would like to speak about. The first is the capability to run the conflict check for the proposed deal team members, as was just shown. Secondly, users are able to escalate issues and centralize conversations when making decisions on team member clearance via the conversations module. Third, users are able to issue decisions on individual team members alongside comments related to that decision. As you can see on the screen, the main goal is to be able to issue a decision on every team member involved on this given deal. By default, their status is noted as pending review on this given transaction. And if you click here, you're able to see there are a number of statuses user can, users can choose from. The overall goal is to determine whether these individuals can take part in this given transaction. So we can see here, there's a breakdown of the issues and the conflicts hits that have been determined by the system. And by default, these hits are designated as issues. As the user clicks review suggestions, you're able to see a breakdown of all of the deal and past search hits for the given team member, as there are two cert hit types for this module in team conflicts. If you take a look, we're able to also filter by team member, uh, where I can click out by Chris Conflicts and be able to see all of the hits pertaining to this given team member and see on the insights tab who the team member was that was involved on this given deal hit. In addition, there are other past searches which might represent additional opportunities or searches that are in flight for the search party at hand. So here we are able to take a look at all of these hits. We are able to either mark them as non-issues or resolve them. Now that all of my hits are worked, I'm now able to say that these team members are able to be approved. So here I have two options. I could either approve individuals one by one, or I could select multiple team members by way of this checkbox and select a status for them at the same time. In the event that there are multiple team members involved, I will approve all of these team members. And now we are ready to send our clearance. And a user is able to actually send out a team clearance message. So de depending on the workflow step that is created, and the notification that is set up, users can issue team clearance by way of workflow. And now the notification has been sent to the team noting that the team has been reviewed and either approved or rejected or an otherwise decision has been made. Now the feature benefits of team conflicts include the capability to centralize deal and team conflict search processes in a single system, increase efficiency by clearing deal and team conflicts in parallel, optimize team conflict search process with the ability to run a single search across all systems of record, and lastly, maintain a system of record with easily accessible and searchable audit trails.